Hi, I'm Jenny Lynch, and I'm talking about the zodiac signs and what they mean. So the first sign of zodiac is Aries, and Aries is represented by a ram, okay? And it's a fire sign. So we know that Aries people have the qualities of being impulsive, of being leaders, of being very impatient. <laughs> they also are natural born entrepreneurs. They want to do things. They don't want to just sit here. They want to just go and do things. Taurus the bull does not move as fast as Aries. Taurus is grounded. It's patient, but it also can be very stubborn. So that's one of the qualities about Taurus is that they're fixed. Once they make up their mind, it's hard to change it. With a Gemini, that's the sign of the twins. They're always changing their mind, okay? It's a dual sign. It's an air sign too. So qualities of, of Gemini's endlessly curious, very social, friendly people, intellectual too. And they like a lot of stimulation. When we get to Cancer, we are talking about the sensitive sign. It's the crab. And if the crab gets sensitive, it will close down and run away. But they're also very much into their family and they're very sweet and loving people. You just have to win their trust. When it comes to Leo, Leo is the lion, roar. You've heard this before, but it does mean that the person is a very loyal person. Um, they are very honorable generally generous, gregarious. Those are other fine qualities that can also be very talented. With Virgo, the virgin, we are talking about somebody who is interested in health, nutrition, who's very organized usually, although the key word here is compulsive. And so either they'll be really neat or they could be very sloppy. But the main thing about Virgos is that they love to serve other people. So if you have one in your life, you're quite lucky. Now we get into Libra. Libra is the sign of the scales and Libras are all about beauty, grace, refinement, the arts. They're into relationship very much. You'll never ever hardly ever see a single Libra. And talk about Scorpio. Scorpio is the scorpion. Okay. Um, it's also the eagle. There's two different types of Scorpios, they say. The ones that are very high with moral standing and the other ones that go down. <laughs> they take that road instead. So when you're thinking about a Scorpio, though, you are thinking about someone who's very intense, um, who is very driven, and who can very much uh, want to be a part of your life and merge. This is uh, somebody who doesn't take anything lightheartedly. Uh, talking about a Sagittarius, we are talking about lighthearted. Sagittarius is the happy-go-lucky sign of the archer. And they always say with Sagittarius that the symbol of the archer pulling the bow back, it means that they are looking far into the future or a far distance away. So these people often are, love to travel and love foreign cultures and they're very philosophical. Capricorn, this is the goat, the mountain goat highly, highly ambitious. They want to climb the mountain, all right? You get the idea here. It's an earth sign. They're very practical, really organized. And uh, they usually do very well in business and with any kind of structure because they're ruled by Saturn. When we get to Aquarius, this is the friendship sign. It's also the water bearer of carrying of liquids, but it's the most friendly social sign of all. Very strong with humanitarians. They love to be around groups of people and they often make great doctors. When we get to Pisces, we're talking about another dual sign, the fish swimming in two different directions. So Pisces is um, often a very sensitive, very mystical and very misunderstood sign. Okay. They're highly sympathetic. And as I said before, uh, this is a sign that kind of goes with the flow. It's a water sign. And those are the 12 signs of the zodiac and a little about them.